All right, I've set another camera up to shine directly on the voltmeter here so that uh, we'll, we'll run through and do a little bit of testing on some of these so that you can actually see the voltages. I have uh, the voltage right now is set to DC. I don't have any DC in here, so I'm going to set it to AC. So now I've got that set to AC. And uh, we'll see if I can do this without knocking all this over. But we'll find us a good grounding point here. I'll go through and test. So let's go through and test some of these and see what we've got. I'll go ahead and hit a grounding point here and start testing these. In this particular situation, this is the load side of what I'm calling these switches, breakers. So let's go down here to the main terminal board and I'll start checking some of those. At this point we have no power on and I've got the main switch on. So let me turn some power on. I know that because of my lights up here. Let me go back to my ground. I'm just using a, the ground off the, the cabinet at this point. So we'll test some of these, see if there's any back feeding going on, which there isn't. Now I'll go down below here to the line side of these and we'll check. There I got 120 on the, the Y. 120 on the X, nothing on W, and then just on down the line you just run through and you can test your, your voltages. This I told you is a 24 volt coil, so I'll check between the two, and I'm not getting anything right now because there's no power supplied to that transformer. So we'll go ahead and turn the main power on here and then we'll turn on the transformer which is Q. Turn on Q and then we will turn on because P is actually switched. We'll turn on P and that pulls that coil in. So let's check the voltage there and we got 31 volts going into that. So if I turn off P, I don't have any voltage going in there because it's going through this switch. So let's go to one of these coils and these particular coils are 110 volt. So I'll check between those two and I don't have anything. So let me turn on N pulls that coil in, I've got 120 there, and then on my contactor 5, which is switch J, now I've got the voltage going into that, and that leads me to another thing I wanted to show you is that um, these are 120 volt coils on the left side, which is A1, I have the hot and on the A2 I have the neutral. This particular one I have A1 is the neutral and A2 would be the switched hot. So it doesn't really matter what side of that coil goes on in a basic system. In a basic system. Okay. When we start getting a little bit further here and start getting into some other control wiring then you'll see the A's and the A2's I have another coil over here, the C2, that's 120 volt. And then I have another ice cube relay over here. I'll pull that out. And the ice cube relay, let's see if I can put this down here. The ice cube relay 
is really cool. This is double pull, double throw, but you can get them in any configuration. So let's see if I've got power on the base of the ice cube relay, and I don't. So we'll slip on switch B. And I've got my power going into to B. So one of the problems that I'm having right now is I don't have the neutrals turned on to anything in here. So I'll turn the neutrals on and that will equal things out a little bit. So with that in mind, I can go ahead and plug this back in. And right now we have the power going into the coil. And so this will actually be energized when I plug it in. It has a little um, notch on it here that slides into the base so you know which direction to plug it in. Probably couldn't hear that clicking on and off, but anyway. So I know that I've got that in there. There's no power going to anything else in here. I'll just go to ground and flip this around real quick. And I know I don't have any power going in there because I don't have anything connected to it. So let's turn on uh, terminal board 7, which is wire C, switch C. I've already turned on the neutral. And we'll get this fan going. So let's check this right now. Hot to neutral. I have nothing. So I'll turn on C. And now we have our power. Turn that back off. F2, switch U, and U is, is, is right there. We have that working. That's on a limit switch. The limit switch is only two hots. So if I go between the two limit switches, or the two wires, the hot and the switch leg basically, on the limit switch, I'm not getting any voltage. Now watch what happens when I adjust that limit switch. Let's cut the power out. And if I go between these two, I'm getting 120 volts. And the reason for that is I'm getting the power coming in here but I'm reading through the neutral on this fan motor. So if I were to disconnect that neutral and test between these two, I wouldn't get anything. I always try and keep the polarity right, although it doesn't matter that much on these, uh, on the AC side of things, DC it does. So the limit switch is really minimal as far as what it does. You just set the temperature to whatever you need. This particular limit switch came out of this dimmer panel. This fan came out of the dimmer panel as well. And the idea is to keep the heat, once it's enclosed, um, from building up on the inside there. So that's just kind of a, a, a little bit of um, voltages we can check real quick. And I can unplug the light. And obviously that's not working. But there's our 120. I'm going to plug that light back in. So that's kind of how you go through and you, and you test some of these things. And uh, we'll pick up on another video. Catch you next time.